Welcome to the session of last remainder theorem or you can say whatever left out after discussing the five rigorous session re related to your remainder theorem. This session will tell or this session you can say whatever miscellaneous type of techniques are there or theorems are there will discuss during this session and one of the one of the most important theorem are there reverse of Fermat theorem. Reverse of Fermat theorem it is highly applicable for variety of questions and it will give you the very sense of you can say good sense to understand the number in better way then this season you can say it is a reverse of format theorem and miscellaneous remainder theorems miscellaneous remainder theorem like how to find the last three digit how to apply the pattern method for the for the number if you are not able to apply the format theorem or Euler number or maybe co prime if any of the concept you are not able to apply then how to solve with the help of pattern method then just before starting this session we'll recollect whatever we have done for the remainder theorem we have done for remainder theorem five session already we have done first session was introduction in BRT you can say this was the basic remainder theorem that was CV 12 and CV 13 was constant remainder theorem CV 14 we have done Chinese remainder theorem and CV 15 we have done the about the format theorem Euler number and co primes and CV 16 we have done about the last two digit last one digit we have done already in power cycle not in remainder before that and that will be sufficient to deal with the deal with the questions which are coming based on the unit digit or last digit or you can say based on the unit digit last digit only number will be there find the remainder of 2 5 and 10 means you can say 2 to the power 1 5 to the power 1 and 10 to the power 1 that only will be helpful to find the remainder based on the unit digit again 2 square 5 square and 10 square we have to find the last two digit then just we'll just we'll uh, go through this flow diagram of remainder theorem and here whatever we have done we have categorized three type of numbers one is based on the factorization another is based on the series or number pattern and another is based on the power here brt we have done crt we have done constant remainder theorem we have done then based on the power expression of number format theorem we have done this we have done this already earlier we have done then only thing is there this session will try to cover reverse of format theorem this one and uh, last three digit and pattern method that will be enough it is very comprehensive 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 you can say com if all remainder session you will combine then it is very comprehensive and very convincing both are there in that six session i think i have discussed all of the concept and all variety of questions whatever best possible and again question wise we'll discuss a lot of question during your practice file and i will give you a lot of the tips and ready-made point during your memory wide session and i will give you the idea how to create the backup file for these memory folder also then just we'll start with these three points our discussion point will be there this is point one this is your point two and this is your point three means reverse of format theorem last three digit or higher value maybe four digit that is not going to come three digit one times in cat it is asked just will get the idea how to find the three digit but after two digit like if you want to find the last three digit after two digit if you want to find the find the three digit or more than three digit you have to take the help of binomial F expansion no alternative no technique can work out like uh, technique for last digit or unit digit or last two digit these all are techniques are there you will able to apply but how to find the last three digit you will it is not a technique you have to apply only expansion method then here in this session we'll try to focus on these three points reverse of format theorem last three digit and pattern method then first point will come reverse of format theorem reverse of format theorem you can say if power is one two or three less than the exact multiple of Euler number of denominator means whatever it is given in the form of power like just in format theorem we are able to apply like x to the power y to the power z remainder will be plus one if x and z are co prime to each other and y is exactly equal to the multiple of the Euler number of z just suppose if y is not exactly equal to the multiple of Euler number of z it is just falling short by one two or three three number then you you can apply the reverse uh, reverse of format theorem second thing second point you should keep in mind once you are applying the once you are applying the reverse of permit theorem try to use negative remainder for solving the questions otherwise you will you will not able to understand how we have to solve the question the negative remainder and conversion from negative remainder to positive positive to negative these all you should be very fast just will take with the example it will be more clear or you can say concept via problems concept via questions concept via problem some many of the times many of the topics it is more convincing because once these 
all whatever we are using mathematically if i will try to write as a theoretical way or language way then it will become very lengthy technique or very lengthy rule and you will not able to understand also it will create lot of nonsense and lot of confusion then whatever things are there we'll try to under understand based on this question 6 to the power 83 divided by 49 reminder we have to find as per fermat theorem two conditions should be applied condition 1 6 and 49 should be co prime to each other okay this is valid 6 and 49 are co prime to each other second is this 83 whatever power is there that should be multiple of multiple of euler number of denominator euler number of 49 Euler number of 49 will be equal to 42 means this power whatever is given it should be exactly multiple of 42 then it will be exactly equal to 1 remainder will be exactly equal to 1 if it is not exactly multiple then we have to take the exact multiple whatever nearest possible and remaining we have to count manually or if it is falling short by one two number then we have to just apply the reverse of format theorem same thing here we can apply because 2 into 42 it is coming 40 84 and here exact power has given 83 it is falling down by falling short by minus one if it is falling short by minus one then we will uh, apply the reverse of format theorem now just you try to understand or try to concentrate yourself next two minutes two to three minutes because this is very vital and it may create lot of confusion if you will not understand fully this is just a common sense and we are just using the equality sign equality sign we are utilizing to solve this uh, uh, this question based on the reverse of format theorem just to suppose you have to find 6 to the power 83 divided by 49 that remainder is r1 we have assumed now just to think one step before that just suppose if any number 6 to the power 84 divided by 49 remainder it will be equal to plus 1 that we know because Euler number of 49 will be 42 this 84 will be exactly multiple of 42 then this remainder r will be always equal to 1 now this side over just lateral side you try to understand don't get confused 6 to the power 84 by 49 or if you want to understand just simple way 6 to the power 84 can you write 6 to the power 83 into 6 there is no issue just only we have written in different format nothing else and this you have to find this you know this you know this is only thing this is only thing here happening what you have to do 6 to the power 84 you can write 6 to the power 83 into 6 to the power 1 or 6 itself this you have to find as per question this you know this you know it will be easy to find only thing this equalities and we will we will just try to utilize it then 6 to the power 84 divided by 49 reminder will be equal to the 6 to the power 83 divided by 49 reminder r1 into 6 to the power 1 divided by 49 reminder r2 this reminder r1 will take r1 itself because we don't know this only we have to find this r2 will be 6 itself because 6 by 49 it will be 6 itself i am discussing about reminder not quotient 6 to the power 84 divided by 49 it will become plus 1 means you can say here after first step plus 1 should be equal to r1 into 6 am i right there is no problem plus 1 this side lhs side remainder has come plus 1 rhs side remainder has come r1 into 6 then by natural or you can say fundamental uh, principle of mathematics plus 1 should be equal to r1 into 6 i am not wrong you whatever you understanding that also not wrong and whatever you listened that also not wrong this plus one should be equal to r1 into 6 what will be the benefit to equate these two equation or equate these two variable we will able to find the r1 in terms of negative negative remainder and again negative remainder we will able to reconvert in positive remainder now only one step we have to do this plus one you convert in negative remainder plus 1 how will convert in negative remainder just to subtract the divisor plus 1 minus 49 it will become minus 48 this minus 48 will be equal to r1 into 6 then r1 will be equal to minus 48 by 6 just a simple division nothing else don't think it is a reverse of format theorem big thing no, nothing we are not doing anything we are just applying the common sense how to solve the equation and how to use the equality as a one of the strong weapon one of the strong weapon for quant how to use the equality same way our best friend is real number line same way equality is also one of the 
our best friend anytime you will able to exploit this equality sign then r1 will be equal to minus 48 by 6 it will become minus 8 then r1 you can say r1 will be equal to this is negative remainder minus 8 then how to convert in positive remainder to convert from negative to positive just you add the divisor to convert from negative to positive you just add the divisor and convert from positive to negative you just subtract the divisor very simple then minus 8 plus 49 it will become 41 then answer will become 41 reminder 6 to the power 83 divided by 49 reminder will be 41 just we'll take one more example it will become little bit more clear 8 to the power 1 5 double 9 divided by 41 reminder will be that we know 41 is a prime number then Euler number of 49 will become just once one less it will become 40 then just by seeing this number 1599 you can say if it would be 1600 then it will be exactly multiple of 40 40 into 40 it will be 1600 means 8 to the power 1600 divided by 41 it will be always plus 1 but here it is falling short by 1 means 1600 you have to just just express in two form 1599 and then here 1599 divided by 41 this is r1 that you have to find and 8 by 41 8 itself then here again same thing we will do this plus one reminder will convert in negative reminder how will convert just we will subtract the divisor minus one plus one minus 41 it will become minus 40 minus 40 will be equal to r1 into 8 just divide this side r1 will become equal to minus 40 divided by 8 it will become minus 5 minus 5 it is a negative reminder if you want to convert in positive reminder then minus 5 plus 41 36 36 will become reminder then either positive reminder maybe answer will be sometimes given in positive reminder sometimes it will be given in negative reminders and sometimes it will be given more than two then if it is given in both format and both are correct then more than two you have to mark be careful now i think understanding the reverse of format theorem it is more more than enough two three question i will just keep in your practice file also then it will become again revised but understanding wise and concept wise it is more than enough and we have not we have not done very high fi technique to solve the reverse of format theorem only two things we have just taken care one is if your power is not exactly multiple of Euler number of denominator it is just falling short by one two or three with the exact multiple of uh, exact multiple of Euler number of denominator then we will be able to apply the reverse of format theorem and second thing we have done we have just exploited the sign of equality that much only now we'll come to the second method and second point of agenda or second point of discussion of this session that is your pattern method this session we have planned to discuss three points or you can say all miscellaneous remainder theorem like reverse of format theorem pattern method and last three last three digit method then second second method you can say pattern method it is your last weapon or your reserve weapon to solve power based reminder question means any kind of power based reminder question you will able to solve based on the pattern method if you are not able to apply format theorem reverse of format theorem last two digit prime uh, co prime or maybe Euler number any of the concept if you are not able to apply just to come to the pattern what is a pattern pattern is to try to get the least power of least power of numerator that will give the reminder either plus one zero or minus one anyone which one is coming the first least power after that make the cycle of power based on the least power and find the remainder many of the questions you can use it in place of fermat theorem also or you can say wherever you are using the fermat theorem you can apply directly pattern method also means many of the fermat theorem questions you will able to solve based on the pattern method there is no issue many of the miscellaneous type of question where you are not getting head and tail you are not able to understand anything you will able to apply the pattern method and you will able to solve it just we'll go through one two questions that will give the more clarity how to use the pattern method like 2 to power 9 1999 divided by 129 find the remainder 2 to the power now how to get the pattern idea of pattern just we'll look this value of denominator value of denominator is 129 then based on this we can guess it is nearby to some exact exact power of 2 exact power of 2 means it is near to 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 7 is 128 if you are dividing 2 to the power 7 divided by 129 means 128 divided by 129 will be minus 1 and our target was to get the least power to find either minus 1 
प्लस वन और जीरो देन हियर सेवन इज द लिस्ट पावर टू गिव द रिमाइंडर माइनस वन देन फोर्टीन विल बी द लिस्ट पावर टू गेट द रिमाइंडर प्लस वन Nothing is minus one into minus one means two to the power seven. S seven into two to the power seven, it will become two to the power fourteen. Minus one into minus one, it will become plus one. Now two to the power one thousand nine hundred ninety nine, you can convert in this way because two to the power fourteen is plus one. Then two to the power fourteen to the power one forty two multiplied by two to the power eleven. Just time. Representing in different different form and nothing else. I am not doing any miracle. I am not using very very high level of mathematics or very big theory of mathematics. Just I am writing the same number in different format or different representation. Then two to the power fourteen to the power one forty two multiplied by two to the power eleven. Two to the power fourteen multi uh, to the power one forty two into two to the power seven into two to the power four. Just I have written in this format. This will become. One because two to the power fourteen remainder has come one and it will come one to the power one forty two two to the power seven we know we have seen it is minus one two to the power four it will be sixteen and sixteen divided by one twenty nine it will be sixteen itself means it will become plus one minus one and plus sixteen finally it will be minus sixteen. Then remainder will become minus sixteen. Or if you want to convert in positive remainder, then you can convert just to add one twenty nine here. Means divisor you have to add. If you are adding the divisor, it will become one hundred thirteen. Means either remainder will be one hundred thirteen or minus sixteen. Now we'll just come to the third point of discussion and miscellaneous type of remainder theorem. It is one of the you can say last theorem or last technique that is required to complete the remainder theorem. That is called last three digit method. Last three digit method will be useful to find the remainder by two to the power three or you can say eight or five to the power q or you can say one twenty five or ten to the power q or you can say one thousand. If these three number are come in picture or uh, if question has given find the remainder any number. Divided by 125 or 5 to the power cube, or maybe divided by 10 to the power cube, then you have to find the last three digit. No alternative because 2 to the power n, 5 to the power n, 10 to the power n. We know it is last n digit. Then here 2 to the power 3, 5 to the power 3, and 10 to the power 3. You have to apply last three digit method. That is very sure. But how to find the last three digit? That is only little problem. Little problem means you have to apply. You have to apply the Binomial expansion, no alternative. Another thing is very very sure. Number will be not given very complicated. Complicated in the sense maybe it will be given to just near to some thousand, two thousand, or maybe you can say some uh, related to zero. Just near to zero. Near to zero only number will be given. Then calculation will be very easy. Otherwise it will not become aptitude question. It will become a BSc BSc mathematics question. Here they are not checking. You are very good in academics in BSc math. They are not. Nobody is interested to check, and it is not required for MBA also. If number and power are very big number, just to say numbers and powers are very big number, then apply binomial expansion to get last three digit. I think it will be better. I have just framed one question that will give you answer to all your doubts, whatever related to your last three digit techniques. And based on this, we will able to understand. Any kind of variation that much maximum will be possible for CAT level. Anyway, this question is very much beyond the CAT level, very much higher than CAT level. But I just combined it two three questions, or you can say if one term is given, that much is enough for CAT level. But I combined it to understand all point of view. If n is equal to 4003 to the power 7 plus 2001 to the power 98 plus 5002 to the power 11, find n divided by 8 remainder, n divided by 125, and n divided by 1000. Just only we have to find from all three last three digit. How to find? This is your number. One by one we'll try to find 4003 to the power 7. Just we will write four thousand plus three and to the power seven. What what it is converted? It is converted into a plus b to the power seven. A plus b to the power seven and a plus b to the power seven. We know formula is seven c zero seven c zero four thousand seven to the power seven. You can uh, start with four c seven c zero seven c zero four thousand to the power seven and three to the power zero seven c one four thousand to the power six three to the power one. Similarly, last last second last digit will become seven c six. Into four thousand to the power one, three to the power six, and seven c seven, four thousand to the power zero. Or you can say it is one itself, three to the power seven. Now, what common sense we have to put? We are interested to find last three digit, not more than that. 
our interest is not going beyond that and our requirement also not going beyond that then just we'll apply some com some common sense and you can say some shortcut technique how will apply like here just to look last term then it will become 7 c 7 will become 1 4000 to the power of 0 it will become 1 then 3 to the power 7 it will become 2187 2187 3 to the power 7 it will become uh, 2187 just to come to the second last term second last term it is 4000 is there mean minimum 30 will be there maybe it will increase based on the 3 to the power 6 and 7 6 7 c 6 based on all these multiplication it may increase beyond three digit but minimum three number of zeros will be there means you can say last three digit second last term and before the second last term it is not going to affect only 2187 only will be affected by last three digit because just i will tell you if you want to add just by common sense just to tell me this four number if you want to add and you want to find last two digit what will be the last two digit this one only which one is 82 what is 82 82 is the last two digit of fourth number and this itself will become the summation of because another number is here minimum 20 is there here 30 is there here 40 is there if you will add all then these 82 will be only effective this 0 will not going to change this 82 same thing will happen here like last three digit 187 out of 2187 that will fall down all the zeros in front of that then only last three digit will become one itself it will not going to change because second last term itself it is minimum three zero is there then if you once you will add it will become like zero 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 187 two will be here here some number will be there we are not interested our interest is only again you will go to the next term it will be minimum how many zeros it will be six zeros further further zeros will be there then here last three digit will become only 187 that much is enough for us means last three digit will become 187 now we'll take the next number 2001 to the power 98 you can rewrite 2000 plus 1 to the power 98 here of course it will be 001 because last term in place of like 3 to the power 7 it will become 1 to the power 98 and 1 to the power 98 or whatever is there it will be always 1 and before that any of the term it will be number of zeros will be three or more than three the last three digit will be 001 5002 to to the power 11 5000 plus 2 to the power 11 just we have to take 2 to the power 11 remaining is not required 2 to the power 11 is 2048 1024 is 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 11 will be double of that 2048 means 048 will be last three digit just we have to add all three number to get the last three digit of number then it will become 187 from first number 001 from second number and 048 from third number finally it will come 236 and that is our final interest to get the last three digit of that big number now if number will divided by 8 then this directly 236 you have to divide by 8 then remainder will come 4 this number if you want to divide by 125 then this directly last three digit number 236 you have to divide by 124 125 then it will become minus 14 or if you want to convert in positive remainder you will able to convert it in positive remainder positive remainder will become 111 n by 1000 directly you can say 236 by 1000 236 itself means this is your last three digit method you should know very frequently it is not coming if it will come some number will be given like this or like based on the certain pattern then finding the last three digit will become easy but you should know the binomial expansion and how to use the binomial expansion then i hope last six session last six session from this session and before that one all are related to your remainder theorem we have started with the cv12 that was related to your introduction to the remainder theorem and basic remainder theorem we have come to the cv13 related to your constant remainder theorem cv14 was chinese remainder theorem cv15 was format theorem and cv16 was last two digit and this was the last session of cv17 that is you can say related to your reverse of format theorem and other miscellaneous topics other miscellaneous remainder theorem like last three digit how to use how to use algebraically and how to find the find the uh, remainder and another was pattern method pattern method is you can say it is your last weapon reserve weapon if you are not able to solve any of the power based question based on any of the established method 
any of the established method then you can blindly apply the pattern method try to get the least power of numerator that will give the remainder either plus one minus one or zero once you got the remainder plus one minus one and zero then based on the cyclicity of the number you will able to get the remainder of that number and thank you again thank you very much